The qualifications page can be found in the payroll settings tab, which can be found on the left here. And also here, you can find the qualifications page under payroll settings here. The qualifications page allows you to create and monitor an employee's qualifications. It is important for employees to have up-to-date knowledge of their employees' formal qualifications and training. This then allows them to allocate an employee to specific tasks they are qualified to do. The qualification feature also monitors when a qualification is due to expire and or has expired. Notifications for upcoming expirations are within seven days of the date the qualification will lapse. These notifications will show in your business dashboard. From the qualifications page here, you're able to add, edit, delete, and import or export qualifications. To add a new business qualification, click on the add icon here. You'll then need to add the name of the qualification and click save. Once you have a qualification category saved, you can attach this to an employee via the employee qualifications page. You can also attach this via an import, which I will discuss shortly. At any point, you can always change the name of an existing business qualification. To do this, simply just click on the name of the business qualification here. This will open up the field so you can edit the name, and once completed, simply click save again. If you no longer require a business qualification, you can delete it as long as there are no employees currently linked to it. As you can see, the first data course here has one employee linked to this qualification, so we can't delete it. And as you can see, the Food Hygiene Level 1 qualification we've just added doesn't have any employees linked to it, so you can delete it by clicking on the red bin icon here. You can run an employee qualifications report to find out which employees are linked to the qualifications. If you'd like to export employee qualifications, simply click on the export icon here on the top right of the screen. You will then be redirected to a new screen where you can choose to download the following formats. A spreadsheet that includes only active employees. A spreadsheet that includes both active and terminated employees. Or an empty spreadsheet. This spreadsheet does not contain any employee data, but only the headers to act as a guide for the required information in each column. When exporting using the first or second option, the spreadsheet will contain a list of all employees, regardless of whether they have any qualifications or not, as well as any qualification information already stored in their file. Here you can insert more rows for any employees who have multiple qualifications. You can also update any existing qualification details such as the expiry date and the reference numbers. Once you've saved the required changes, simply save the file to your computer and then you can import the spreadsheet back into the system by clicking on the import button here. Or also back on the qualifications page here by clicking the import button here. If we now return to the business dashboard, you can see under action items, there's a notification warning of an employee who has a qualification that's going to expire within the next seven days or has already expired. And there you have it, the qualifications page.